Hi everybody. So in this video, I wanted to talk a little bit about something new that's come from GitHub called the GitHub CLI or the command line interface. And this is a new tool currently in beta that you can download and install that gives you access to some things in GitHub directly from the command line. Specifically, it's going to let you access things like pull request information and issue information without having to leave the command line. So you don't necessarily, as it says, have to context switch and gives you kind of access to some of those basic things that you need access to. Now, this is in beta. There are going to be changes, there are going to be updates coming to it. But I thought I'd take you through a quick tour of using this to make a change in one of my repos and be able to create a pull request from the actual command line. So I downloaded this. So obviously, if you click this, and we'll open this in a new tab. This takes you to. Well, actually, that actually downloads the MSI. Ha! Huh. That's not what actually what I did, though. I went to the um, the CLI site and used something called Scoop, which I'd never actually used before. So if you go here and you say manual installation, then here's the documentation, and you can see, woo, Scoop! I'd never used Scoop before. I thought that was kind of neat. Which means that now when they update it, all I have to do is run scoop update GitHub or scoop update GH and it will update to the latest version of the CLI, which I thought was pretty cool. But I thought we would take this now that I've got it installed and just make a small change to one of my repos and see what we can get into. Now I'm going to go ahead and forewarn you now. My command line skills are a little rusty, so and I'm not planning on editing this video, so you'll just kind of have to bear with me as we, or as I, fumble through some things. Now, what I've got up here is my Windows terminal, and I'm currently in my Conference Talks repo, and this is a repo that I've created where I store all my Conference Talks. And... I just created a brand new section called 2020. And this is a public repo. Anyone can go in there and access it. And you can see I've created a section for my upcoming talks in Las Vegas. And right now I've just got a piece of placeholder text there. So what I want to do is edit this file and then push it up and do a pull request on it and get it merged back into my master. And I want to see how much of this I can do from the command line. Well, the first thing I need to do is create a new branch. So we'll say git checkout and we'll say we'll call this the edit placeholder file. Ha! Told you I messed things up already. Let's go git checkout minus B. Boom. There you go. When you type things right, it works great. So I did a git checkout minus B edit placeholder file. You can see that I'm now on the edit placeholder file branch. And if I do a git status, nothing's changed right now. And what we're going to do is we're going to say code placeholder.txt which is going to open up for me my placeholder file in Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to just put a note here. Remember to load all the slide decks and code samples. And I'm going to save that change and then I'll just close the file and I'll close code. And now if we do a git status, we can see that I haven't, I've got one file out there, so I'll do a git add, and I'll just say dot to add it all. And then if we do a git status, 
you'll see that it's waiting to be committed. So I'll do a git commit minus m updated placeholder message. Sweet. So obviously a git status now shows me that everything's fine. So I've now committed this locally and now I want to push this up to a branch in GitHub. So I'm going to say git push and it's going to yell at me because I haven't defined upstream where it needs to go. And luckily it tells me, hey, I need to use this. Now, so far, everything I've been doing has not been the GitHub CLI. It has just been standard everyday Git. So at this point, all I've done is create a new branch locally, make some changes, and push that branch up into GitHub. But I've not used the actual CLI yet. So to use the CLI, I just type GH. And GH then gives me some basic information, tells me where I can go provide feedback, shows me the basic usage. And right now it deals with issues and does some stuff around issues, creating and viewing issues, and being able to create, view, and check out pull requests. So if I say GHPR, then it gives me more information about what I can do with the PR. So for example, I can uh, pull a pull request by, by number, or I can create one, I can check it out. And if we do a GHPR list, right now, there's nothing in this conference talks. There's no pull requests. So we've created this branch in the repo, and now I want to take that change and merge it back into master. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say git PR create. Now you can, when you do a, well, let's make sure that was PR create. So let's do get PR. Oh, sorry. G H P R. See, told you this is live. I can do a create. And if I do a get PR create dash dash help or G H P R create, I need to quit saying get G H P R create then you can see that I can um, tell it open a web browser to create it, or I can have it walk me through creation of the PR. So we're going to say GHPR create. And it's going to say give this a title. Updated. Updated placeholder file information. And it's going to prompt us for to enter a body. So I'll open up Notepad. And I'll say, I updated the placeholder info in the file. And I'll save that and close it. And then it'll take me back to what do I want to do next? And I can use my arrow keys to move up and down on this to decide what I want to do next. So I can preview in a browser, I could submit this, or I could cancel. So I'm going to submit this pull request. So it has created a pull request called pull request number two. And if we do a GHPR view two, then it will actually open it up in a web browser. So here is the actual PR that was created for me in GitHub. Now, I also have the option if I go back to my terminal and I say GHPR view to dash dash preview, I think. It will also show me the basic information that I want to work, merge one commit. Here's the basic information about that pull request, and then obviously a link to that pull request. If I do a ghpr list, 
then it'll show me, obviously I've only got one pull request right now, but it gives me, um, would show me a list of those pull requests as well. And if we do ghpr help, and I could say ghpr status, and this shows me the relevant pull request. So it shows me on the current branch the the pull requests that are out there. So if I do a, I don't think this will work. That did work. Okay, cool. So with the CLI, the GitHub CLI, I'm able to open up a pull request or I could check out an existing pull request and also deal with issues as well. And obviously this is in beta. They're going to be adding new functionality. And then I can obviously I can come over here and I can say, hey, this looks great. And I can merge this pull request in. And then I've got my updated changes that have now been merged into my master. So this has just been kind of a quick tour through getting started with the GitHub CLI and how you can use it to create pull requests and view pull request information. I'll probably create one around issues, a video around issues as well. And as other functionality is added, I'll probably start creating some other videos around using that functionality. So I'd love any feedback that you might have. If there's anything that you would like to see around what you can do with the GitHub CLI or any questions you might have, the team is obviously looking for feedback. If you, you can go to the, the, link right here, the forms link, and you can provide that feedback or you can send it to me and I'll be happy to give it to the team. I'd also love for you to, if you liked this video, like it, subscribe to the channel. And I've also got another video series on Azure Pipelines that if you're interested in Azure Pipelines and specifically YAML Pipelines, I'd love for you to check that out too. Thanks for watching.